Good evening. They are three outsiders. Two are military veterans. Only one is a former police chief. And they stand here as they... That's Eddie Frizzell, an inspector with the Minneapolis Police Department, a colonel in the National Guard who served in Iraq. Crime rates have been falling for decades. Cameron McClay is the former Pittsburgh police chief who resigned after this speech at the Democratic National Convention and a no-confidence vote from the police union. And Eli Reyes is an assistant Austin police chief and Army veteran and Purple Heart recipient. All three not career Seattle police officers. That was a question that was discussed and debated a lot. Former Seattle Mayor Tim Burgess, who was part of the city search committee, says it was a point of emphasis. While the police department has made tremendous progress in reform, there's still a lot of work yet to do, including some of the foundational cultural reform that has yet to take firm root and we felt that it was best at this point for an outsider to be uh, brought in as the next chief of police. The group's analysis, summed up in this four-page memo to Seattle Mayor Jenny Durkin, obtained by King 5, cites specific long-running issues in the department. If you look at the data, uh, that's where the biggest gap is. Seen as a knock on current interim chief Carmen Best, a well-liked, long-tenured member of SPD who did not make the final cut. What essentially happened was systemic racism the black woman was X'd out. A move criticized by members of the Community Police Commission. Carmen has worked through this consent decree uh, all the time. And uh, I mean, I, I look at it, Seattle is a progressive, racist town. Four of the five finalists are candidates of color. Mayor Durkin is expected to name her next chief by late June or early July, a person who will also need council confirmation. In the newsroom, Chris Daniels, King 5 News.